Good morning ladies and welcome to Artichoke Sunday Styling. Now ever since lockdown we've been looking at different stories that we've had in the shop. We've been getting together and giving style tips and solving people's style quandaries. Today is a bit different. What we're going to do is show you how we have restyled the shop. So I'm Sarah, I'm from Artichoke and um, hopefully you will be reassured today by what we tell you that once we come out of lockdown, which we all hope will be on June the 15th when we can reopen our doors, you will still be able to shop at Artichoke in a relaxed but safe way. So hello everybody, good morning. Um, today I'd like to say a special hello to Justine who actually is uh, fast asleep in bed at the moment because she lives in Montana. Um, my son Paddy who is filming today, she is her second, his second even mum. Uh, but Justine is younger, prettier and a lot braver than his real one because she has bears in her garden at the moment. You are looking at the woman who, even when she was in her youth, declined invitations to Glastonbury on the there would be inadequate toilet facilities and nowhere to dry blow her hair for three days. So my lovely son should be out in Montana at the moment being a cowboy, but actually what he's doing is being cameraman for his mum. If you've got any questions, just um, shout them out, pop them in the comments and he will try and read them over to me. If I miss them, as always I promise I'll go back through the video um, afterwards and answer any questions you might have. Um, I'd be really grateful today if you could share this information, even if you're not able to share the video, with those of our customers who live in the Swaffham area who are still unsure about whether they are able to come shopping or not. Because of course if they're not confident to come in the shop on an open shopping day, we still have our closed shopping days which are Tuesday and uh, Wednesdays by appointment. So they'll come into the shop and they will have the shop to themselves. As always, if you see something that you like, push the love button because it helps us in Google land. Chat among yourselves. Wave to Justine because when she wakes up, she's going to be watching this. Um, which also brings me on to a second point uh, that I don't think that we mention often enough. Although uh, if you order from the website, we only offer free PMP to the UK. We do actually send clothes parcels all over the world. You just have to pay for them slightly differently. So if you are in Outer Mongolia watching this and you fancy a pair of our jeans, all you have to do is email us and then what we will do is we will ask you to pay by PayPal so that you make a contribution to uh, the postage. So there you are, we're going to crack on now and what we're going to do is we're going to open the shop door I'm going to pop outside and pretend that I'm a customer coming in. So Paddy is going to grab the phone and follow me whilst I just open the door. To get the wedge in. Right. The first thing to remember is that weather permitting, the door will be so that you don't actually have to touch any surfaces as you come into the shop. So I'm a customer, I've been queuing outside, or I haven't been because the shop's empty, and I'm going to walk in, and you will see at this little station here, we have sanitizer. Now this is for your own safety, so that you can clean your hands. What we're going to ask you to do, however, as a customer, unless of course you have a latex allergy, is actually put on a pair of disposable gloves. Now this is not for your own safety, because you've sanitised your hands for you, but this is because as you go through the shop, if you want to put, put, pull out a garment and look at it, you will have it with a sterile glove, which reduces the rate of infection for other people. When you come in, try and find, I don't know where I put my mask, is it in here, or I've just got tissue. When you come in, we won't be wearing masks, but we will have them. So please, if you are in any way concerned, oh God, I can't get this thing 
wrong. If you are in any way concerned, we will not at all be offended if you ask us to put our mask on. The whole thing about this is making you feel relaxed. So if you would rather we weren't dressed as if we were on a COVID-19 ward, we won't be. If, however, you would feel a lot more relaxed if we were wearing masks, ask us to put one on. So as we walk through the shop, those of you who are familiar to the usual layout will notice that it has changed slightly. So we've got all the clothes up this end, and then what we've done is we've moved what is usually our shoe display into the center here, which separates the two sides. So we're only going have a maximum of four people in the shop at one time so if you're shopping with a girlfriend once you're able to do so can we strongly recommend that you come on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and book a slot with us then so that one of you doesn't have to wait outside because there are more than three drop-in shoppers here so this will keep the two sides of the shop separate we move over to here, and this is where all the jewelry is. So we're keeping the areas of the shop very separate so that if you are a woman on a mission rather than just browsing, you know which area of the shop to go to. And then I just, the ladder over there will, as usual, have our scarves on it. Here is the screen that will be erected on our desk which will be clear so that when you come to pay you will have a screen between yourselves and us which will keep us both safe. Everything that will be on this desk is the card machine that takes payment and also our tub of hand sanitizer so that it will be a completely clean environment and of course it will be wiped down regularly. We will wash our hands in between customers so that again we ensure that we're keeping ourselves and you safe at the same time. We now move on to our new shoe department. So all the shoes will be on display on this table. So if it's a pair of shoes that you want, you know just to come here. What we're trying to do is reduce the movement in the shop if you actually know exactly what you're coming in for. Now Paddy and I are going to swap places and I just want to show you how we've created space in the changing area which now is a lot more spacious than it usually is. Those of you who shop at Artichoke regularly will know that at the back of the shop this is where we normally uh, store our pop season so there are normally instead of three rails six rails crammed in here so we've removed them so that the changing areas remain a lot safer you will be allowed on but you will be asked to keep your gloves on so that again as you touch things in the changing room you're doing it with a sterile glove the middle changing room will be closed and we will be using changing rooms alternately so once somebody's used this one and we've cleaned it we will then be asking the next customer to move into this changing room. And I forgot to put the shirt back. This is a shirt that I've just tried on, ladies. We will be asking you to rehang the clothes you have tried on yourselves on the hangers. And they will be left on this rail for 72 hours before they are put back into stock. So ladies, I hope I've run through everything to reassure you that we're going to try and keep shopping at Artichoke as relaxed as possible in these very, very uncertain times. But also we have a priority where we're going to try and keep you as safe as possible. I don't know if you have any questions now. Can you see any questions, Pan? Has anybody been asking questions? Okay, right. Well, hopefully that's clear for everybody. Um, we've got over the business side of things. Now we're going to move on to a bit of fun. 
So every year at Artichoke, we pick two or three items that we wear all summer as part of our uniform. And then we have hundreds that have our name on it, but we can't justify buying them all at once. And jokingly, these are called the bed in my size sale items. They're not going into the sale in my size items. So basically, rather than reduce them, they're coming home with us. Now, I thought uh, rather than dragging my entire wardrobe in here, um, I would actually just whistle through the shop, explain to you what is not going into the sale in my size and why, and why some items that I love will be going into the sale in my size. I'm going to start off with the outfit that I'm wearing. Now, I confused everybody on Thursday by wearing my own clothes, so clearly that was an error. I've learned now that I should always wear clothes that we have in season because everybody wanted my Pomodoro um, top, which we about two days last autumn and lots of people wanted my very old jeans as well so today I am wearing the bat wing jumper that you would have seen featured but I think it's always worth seeing um, on a body and this will definitely not be going in the sale in my size this color I love um, and I like the fact that it's oversized and I have teamed it up with the Pomodoro linen culottes that I'm wearing um, I love these because they're elasticated at the back, but they fit me over the bottom and the thigh. Pull my mask and my specs out so you can see the line better. This is another example, ladies, of why you should never ever get hung up on sizes because these are a size 10. Now, normally in Pomodoro, I'm a 14 to 16. I can get away with the size 10 is I have no hips and the elastication in the back goes over my tummy so ladies you should always always try clothes on you know I'm not a size 10 I'm not a size 18 I have garments in my wardrobe with both those labels on them I don't know if you have the same experience or whether you are one of those strange creatures that would never ever wear a garment with a label in it that is one size bigger than um, you think you are. So that would be a really good question to um, answer today. Which sort of fold do you fall into? I'm definitely, I want it to fit me and I don't care what it says inside. So we're gonna whistle around again and we're gonna start filming from the front of the shop and we're gonna go through each little story and I am going to pick um, the garments that are coming home with me in my size if we still have them. So I've already told you about that jumper. Um, the other garment in this little section that my size is not going in the sale is this uh, Tinta t-shirt which is 56 pounds you would have seen this quite a lot um i'll be wearing it later in the week turned up with a pair of pull-on crops but actually i would wear this with a pair of white jeans also a pair of white shorts so this uh, this is definitely not going in the sale in my size we've got lots and lots of these glorious tops and everybody tells me how lovely I look in them, but I'm not great with big floral patterns. I just feel quite uncomfortable wearing them. So um, I would feel very, very self-conscious wearing this in real life. Although, of course, I probably look better in it than most of the things I do actually wear. So this is this story. Um, in this little story here, Actually, I think I've got most of um, the garments here that I would wear. I'm going to have a pair of shorts, but they're actually going to be white ones. Oh no, the decks. I need to replace my deck shoes. So these are the Creek deck shoes from Orca Bay. They're £75. 
uh, they're machine washable and um, I think every everybody should have some decks in their wardrobe because they're just so easy to wear. So from this little story, the decks are coming home from with me, but actually I'm not going to wait for the sale. We've sold my size and I'm going to get another pair in. If we move on to this story here, um, everybody has complimented me on how good I look in these oversized shirts. Uh, but I prefer something that is more fitted because I wear a lot of jackets. So although I really, really like them, these are probably, with me, these would be one of the garments that you buy. I think you look great in it, but it sits in the back of the wardrobe because uh, it doesn't really go with anything else that you wear. So, um, yeah, I really like these. And you know, if I could wear a new item every day of the year, then I would definitely have one of these chambray shirts. But the reality is if I wear a shirt, I'll tuck it in under a jacket. Um, this I love, but it doesn't love me. It pulls over the bust line, so that's not coming home with me. But this probably is. Um, I've noticed during the lockdown period, that my sort of at-home casual wardrobe doesn't exist anymore. All I've got is clothes I wear for work or clothes I do my housework in. Everything that I would wear, I just sort of go into the pub or something like that, I don't, I don't possess those clothes anymore. So this is definitely coming home with me because it will go with the white jeans that I live in in the summer. And um, at the moment, we do have my size. So if it doesn't go, it's coming home with me at the end of the season. Moving through here, um, I don't know where they are, oh, they're over there. I don't wear full length white jeans, I wear the seven eights. So um, they're probably staying here. This dress I have in navy already, so that's not coming home with me. This dress actually has been, for me, the surprise of the season because, as I think when we were actually showing you all the videos, I didn't really think the Pomodoro dresses fitted me. Um, but this I love. Um, I will have to have it altered. Uh, it's slightly too big in the armpit, so I'm going to have to have the shoulders lifted slightly. And this brings uh, me on to another point that we probably should be doing a video dedicated to. Donna and I have our clothes altered. Um, it makes such a huge difference to have stuff that actually fits you. So if I were just buying that dress um, off, the sh off the shelf, uh, I wouldn't pick it up because it gapes here in my size. But actually, because we have Rita, the very fabulous Italian tailor, she comes in and she alters our clothes for us. She will be working by appointment again on Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, from the week that we open. But obviously for the time being, ladies, you probably need to bring in garments that you've been able to pin yourself because we're still having to keep that two metre distance uh, uh, from each other. But I have a suspicion that might be going down to one soon. And as soon as it does, then, you know, we'll be able to actually uh, fit you properly as well. So this dress is not going, um, my size is not going in the sale. This, I am indeed, is gone already my size. I absolutely adore this shirt, but somebody else has had it ahead of me. And this is probably worth mentioning to ladies who don't come into our shop, who are fairly new customers, who discovered us online. Although we do sell hundreds and hundreds of pairs of jeans each year, and the same with the trousers, something like this piece, which is a real statement, we will only get one or one and a half runs of. That means maximum we'll probably only buy about eight or nine pieces. So if you shop with us 
in the Swapham shop, you will be very unlucky to bump into a friend where if you're buying this from Aberdeen, because we buy from small family brands, the likelihood of you bumping into somebody else wearing this is in minus figures. It's certainly a lot lower than the R figure is at the moment. So that's uh, something to, to bear in mind, ladies, is that artichoke, we are obsessed with exclusivity, but exclusivity at a price that you can afford, because we're not interested in looking like everybody else in the crowd, and we don't want you to either. Now, moving on to my Barilacci jacket, that is not coming home with me because I bought a navy blazer in the winter, but if I hadn't done, it would be and actually right at the end if we still have my size i think it will still be coming home with me because at that point i can justify spending 500 quid on a blazers in a year but at the moment i can't now moving swiftly on because i do love it so much this was the other surprise for me i I would no more have picked this out than fly to the moon, but this is definitely my size is not going in the sale. I was really surprised at actually how good I looked in that. Um, and I have the chalk eyegores, I wear them a lot in the summer, it will go with. So that's the next thing. We're going to whistle around to the next um, little rail, ladies. This, my size is not going in the sale. I love all the K-Design dresses, but as I've said already, um, I'm not good with big flowers. I'll be a lot more comfortable with this one. I'll be able to bung a vest underneath it and wear it with boots in the winter, and I really like to have pieces that are quite transseasonal. Um, so this one is definitely not going in the sale. From this little selection here, um, I am missing out bit simply because they're too similar to what I have in my wardrobe already. Now, when I was over, I've, can we go back here, Pat? Because I've missed a bit out. Sorry, ladies, I've missed this little gondola out here. Now, these I'm going to grab all anyway. I always have a new pair of white jeans. Uh, because they don't stay white very long and these are the seven eighths these now my size in these is not going in the sale because I have them already um, I absolutely adore these they are reduced to 69 pounds they're from Stark um, I just love them so these are in my wardrobe already. They look great with white. Um, moving along here. Now, I don't actually wear these crops. Um, and the reason I don't wear them historically is because I feel uncomfortable in the shop. I don't feel that they're smart enough. Um, and they're too smart for home. So with me, they fall between two stalls. However, now I am holidaying again after a break of 20 years, I might change my mind about that. What I'm quietly doing is putting together a holiday wardrobe and these crops would fit perfectly into that, as would the white shorts, which I can wear as a bermuda length or I can roll. So these are definitely, my size is not going in the sale. And finally, I think you might have seen me in this dress a couple of years, you know, a couple of days ago. I really don't need another summer frock because I don't wear them often enough, but I love Erfo dresses. And uh, this is another example of one that's coming home with me. Now we're going to whistle back down here. Um, I'm going to show you what I love. I love this, but it's not coming home with me because uh, my size is gone. About this one because I love this dress I already have two black summer dresses do I need another one um, it depends how hot the summer is I might find it coming home with me this I'm devastated about I love it it doesn't work on me at all 
you need to have an hourglass figure for this or a slightly pear shaped not a great shape on me this actually i think i'm probably going to grab this size before it goes in the sale i think this is going to be part of my summer uniform this uh season because it will look great with white jeans um it will wash easily and uh it's nice and cool this shot gets very very hot because we have such a huge plate glass window um this dress again this is the james i will actually show you i'll put it on next week this is gorgeous again it falls into the category of do i need another black dress but it has a third off do I need another black dress for 60 quid? Possibly. So I'm really torn over these two black dresses. Whistling through. Um, I love that. My, my size is gone. This, this, I might actually try as a gilet. Why is the shape's not good on me? I don't really do big florals, as we said already. I already have chalk eyeglass. Moving on to this rail very, very quickly. Now, today I have on the plain uh, denim solid colour linen culottes. But the ones I think that will come home with me, if they don't go in the sale, are these. Because I have a lovely pair of chambray coloured culottes from James Lakeland last year so I probably don't need two pairs and that's why I'm probably not getting the white leg trousers because I've got them in a cropped length. So ladies I'm not sure how clear I've been about this but I just wanted to show you the pieces that I will be slotting into my wardrobe this season and why. Everybody says to us oh my gosh oh, i haven't been on to shoes yet we'll do that in a minute you know i would be so tempted working in a clothes shop i'd have everything um it's a bit like working in a baker's you know when i was uh in my teens my first job was in the cake shop in woodbridge and for the first three weeks i lived on cakes and then after a while i became a bit more reasonable and realized that actually um you need more sustenance in life than just cakes and it's the same with the clothes you go bonkers initially but then eventually you realize that you can only wear so many items in a day and you then are a lot more controlled and a lot more disciplined about putting a wardrobe together so that we just in fill now poor old pat's hands have just worn out so i am going to let him keep that on the table and just show you this sandal so this is the sandal that i'm going to take home with me this summer um it's quite a narrow fit and i have narrow feet so this is not good for ladies with wide feet you need normal or narrow feet it's got the very soft bedding and it has a wedge many moons ago i slipped a couple of discs so i am orthotic woman um, and I need quite a lot of support as I'm on my feet all day long to keep my back in the right place. Um, and wedges are incredibly comfortable um, if you are standing for a long time to keep your back in the right place. So um, I think we've whistled through everything that um, we needed to talk about today. I hope that you've enjoyed this little um, unusual styling session. I have everything crossed that everybody will come back and shop with us on June the 15th. Um, throughout the whole of the lockdown period, uh, I think I just managed to remain focused and very, very positive about life. This week I've had a little bit of a wobble um, and I am really struggling uh, with the thought of what we're going to do over the next six months. Uh, so I'm having a little bit of a wobble at the moment ladies so you can cure it by coming to see me from June the 15th onwards because I really need a few more people in my life again 
much as I love my gorgeous son and my lovely husband, I've been self-isolating with them for 12 weeks now. And um, that's the other thing about doing these videos is everybody says how much they've enjoyed uh, watching them. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed doing them because in my little head, you're here with me and we're having a chat. And as you all know, I talk a lot. So the fact that you can't answer back doesn't really make much difference to me. It's life as normal. So anyway, ladies, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you for still shopping with us online. You are still feeding my children. Thank you for liking and sharing. A big thank you to the ladies who are introducing uh, their friends to us. Remember that if you are an existing web customer of Artichoke and you introduce friends, they get discount from their first purchase and you get discount on your ensuing purchases. Just email us or comment or ring and ask us how this happens or read the blog and we can explain to you. I know it's thing, but we need it. Hopefully those little old sheep will have something to munch on um, next week. Now the grass is growing again. I hope you have a fabulous week. My kitchen is a lot cleaner today than it was two days ago because I was confined to barracks yesterday and couldn't go out in the garden. Have a lovely time, ladies. Thanks for watching. We'll be back on Thursday. I'm hoping that it's going to be a watch party uh, with um, Annabelle and Grace from Annabelle and Grace Country Wives. We're going to try and do it live on uh, Instagram and then share it to FaceTime. God knows what's going to happen there. But anyway, Thursday, hopefully that will be happening. Next Sunday, we'll be back on um, holiday wardrobes. Have a fabulous week, ladies. Thank you for your support.